What are the mystery seeds from China? As humans, we are taught to fear things we initially cannot explain. This was exactly the case when numerous residents of the United States started getting bags of weird plant seeds arriving in their mailboxes, reportedly from China. This raised a bunch of questions among residents. Where exactly are these plant seeds from? Is this some kind of attack on the US? What is the approach if I accidentally get one of these bags? Well, not to worry. All of this will be clearly answered in today's video, as we will be shedding some light on what the mysterious seeds from China are. Now, let's jump right in. How did this incident begin, and where are the seeds from? In July 2020, the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, reported in a statement saying and assuring the residents that they were aware of people across the country receiving unsolicited packages of seeds from China. USDA's officials also expressed their concerns that the seeds could be invasive plant species, although the bags of plant seeds have been arriving in the United States for some months now. The United States Department of Agriculture just recently identified some of the species in the bags. So far, 14 species have been identified as of July 29th, according to Deputy Administrator Osama L. Lissi of the United States Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service. He said, the species included mustard, cabbages, and morning glory, while some of the herbs were mint, sage, rosemary, and lavender. He also confirmed that hibiscus and roses were found in the bags. The USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service has been working closely with the Department of Homeland Security's Custom and Border Protection and different other federal agencies to investigate the situation. What are the seeds, scams, or weapons? Unlike many opinions, these seeds from China are not weapons, but just regular seeds that are the results of an e-commerce scam called brushing. The way this scam works is that businesses who are having trouble making sales will fake customer accounts, buy their own product, and send them to your home. The customer accounts created may be fake, but the addresses such packages are sent to are very much legitimate. According to the USDA, they said, brushing scams involving seed packets and international mail shipments are not uncommon. The US Customs and Border Protection, CBP, has intercepted similar seed shipments in recent years. Felicia Clark of the Better Business Bureau further shed light on the scam in an interview with CBS. Clark said, once you're a victim of brushing, your identity has been compromised. Someone knows enough about you to create a profile online and use you to manipulate the systems. What this means is that the owner of such business can now use these created accounts to register real deliveries, post nice product reviews, and improve their ranking on e-commerce sites such as Amazon or eBay. What are people saying about the seeds? Reports confirm that residents in all 50 states have received the suspicious packages of seeds. So what are people's thoughts on this? Well, social media has been buzzing ever since the arrival of the seeds, with people coming up with different theories. The most common one being that the mysterious seeds are meant for bioweapons, and this was sent to instigate a war between the USA and China. Some claim the seeds are just lemon seeds, while others weirdly suggest that the seeds will help with COVID-19. I can certainly assure you that none of these theories are true. What is the government's directive to residents who got the seeds? The species of plant seeds identified so far have all been confirmed to be harmless. However, plant experts have warned that seeds from other parts of the world, just like these ones, could damage crops. The state agriculture officials in Virginia warned, invasive species wreak havoc on the environment 
displace or destroy native plants and insects, and severely damage crops. Taking steps to prevent the introduction is the most effective method of reducing both the risk of invasive species infestation and the cost to control and mitigate those infestations. The United States Department of Agriculture implores any citizen that received an unsolicited packet of seeds to immediately report to their state plant regulatory officials or APHIS state plant health director. They are to keep hold of the seeds and packaging, which include the mailing label, until someone from the APHIS contacts them with further instructions. In the meantime, no one is allowed to open or plant the seeds because it could be invasive or introduce pathogens and toxins or even cause foodborne illness. Adding to the instructions, Texas Department of Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller urged people to be cautious, saying, it could be a bacteria, it could be a virus or some kind of invasive species. This sparked fear among people and led some of them to burn the seeds and packages they came in, which could be considered as the right approach if you ask me, as long as the seeds are not allowed to grow. According to reports, some of the seeds were coated with various weird colors and residents immediately reached out to the authorities. Rob Perusna, a state seed control official in the Department of Agriculture and Land Stewardship in Iowa, confirmed to hearing reports of a coating of some sort which could possibly be insecticide or fungicide on the seeds that could prove especially harmful to crops. She stated, I've heard people describe to me that the seeds are coated in something purple. I haven't had it in my hands yet, but it sounds an awful lot like a seed treatment. The final warning issued out by the USDA is that anyone who receives the seeds should be careful when handling them, not to plant the seeds and store them in a safe place where pets and children cannot access them. What happens if you actually planted the seeds? The mystery seeds from China were widely delivered across the US, and before the government could make any statements of warning concerning them, some individuals had gone ahead to plant the seeds. One such individual is Doily Crenshaw, an Arkansas man who, in his defense, planted the mystery seeds before hearing the U.S. Department of Agriculture's warning against doing so. According to Doily Crenshaw, he planted the seeds two months before government warnings. He said, We brought them down here and planted the seeds just to see what would happen. Every two weeks I'd come down and put miracle Grow on it, and they just started growing like crazy. The seeds reportedly grew into a squash-like plant with white fruits and orange flowers. Crenshaw went on to add that the seeds were most likely mislabeled and came in the packaging from China labeled as studded earrings. Reacting to this, Scott Bray of the Arkansas Department of Agriculture told a news outlet, Our concern is from an invasive pest aspect. The seeds could introduce an invasive weed or an invasive insect, pest, or a plant disease. The mysterious plant was later removed from Crenshaw's garden by the local agriculture department. Another individual who planted some of the seeds before the warning was Shelley Orcoin, a woman in Louisiana. According to Shelley Orcoin, who lives in Berwick, Louisiana, she had ordered some seeds from Amazon, so she didn't think anything of it when she got some seeds delivered in the mail and went ahead to plant them. She told a news outlet, I got another packet of the seeds earlier this month. When we saw the post saying don't plant them, I mean, I'm not scared about it. I'm not worried about it, but I guess people are. The Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forest immediately ordered recipients of the seed packages not to open the bags. Mark Strain, the department's commissioner, stated, the packets we have picked up so far are not only coming from China, but also from Uzbekistan, Solomon Island, and areas of Russia, and most of them say earbuds, jewelry, earrings, and garden supplies. What is China's response to the mysterious seeds? The country many people are pointing fingers at for this e-commerce scam is China. But Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin has come out to defend Beijing, saying that China's postal service abides by a strict law that prevents them from sending out seeds randomly. And according to an investigation conducted by China's postal service, 
It revealed that records on the packages were falsified. China's Post has negotiated with US Post to return these fake mails to China for further investigation, Wang said at a news briefing. Hopefully, the collaborative efforts between the USA and China will bring the real perpetrators of this e-commerce scam to justice. If you want more dark and mysterious content, remember to subscribe to the channel and tap on one of the thumbnails on your screen. Until next time, stay exceedingly insane.